Hi, I'm Ransom with Airy Vans, and today I'm going to show you the features of the Airy bed and how easy it is to convert to a couch. First step in this is just to remove the mattress. So what I usually do is fold it in half and then tuck it between the two front seats. And then we're going to remove the actual bed frame itself. So to do that, we need to unlatch it from underneath. So to unlatch the bed frame, you're just going to come underneath and locate these latches right here. You're going to pull it back and then you're going to turn the handle of the latch sideways and that'll actually lock it in place so it's no longer inside of the lock. You're going to repeat the same step on all four latches and then the bed will be ready to be removed. So once you have the bed unlatched, uh, you're going to remove each panel separately. So you're just going to lift it up, collapse it, and then I typically stand them up on end. The same thing with the front panel. Now let's talk about how you can adjust the height of the bed in the airy van. So what we're going to do to turn the airy bed into a couch is we're going to attach the bed rail to the very bottom slots. Once you get it locked in there, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So on the airy bed on the latch right here, before we pulled it out of the hole, so when we put the bed back in, we're just going to take this handle right here and flip it sideways. And that's how we lock it in place. The next step is we're going to replace the bed panel that goes furthest to the back of the van. That's going to be the widest one. But instead of having it lock in this front position, we want it to actually lock in this middle hole right here. So next we're going to take the uh, biggest piece of uh, the bed frame, which sits towards the back of the van, and we're going to put it back on the bed rail, but we're going to put it in a little bit different position than last time. Now when you're doing this by yourself, what I typically do is I lock the biggest part of the bed frame in first and then I come over and it's easy to just slide the smaller end out and make sure that it hooks onto the bed rail as well. And I'm gonna go ahead, turn that lever on the latch and that'll lock the bed in place. Same thing on the opposite side. And there we go. Now that panel's secured. So the next step is to attach the couch adapters which you'll find in the area van. And to do that, we're gonna want it basically sitting right on the peg just above there. So the bottom one actually kind of just floats in place right there. And the top one has a lock on it. So this one's kind of opposite of the last ones. So it just goes like that and you're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the opposite couch adapter. The bottom one just slips into place. It doesn't have a lock like the top one does. It's more just a placeholder to keep it there. So the next step is to attach the smaller portion of the bed, and we're gonna attach that into this couch adapter right here. And the hooks that grab onto your bed rail are actually gonna wrap right around this piece of metal on this. So if you're by yourself, what I generally do, the easiest way is to just get this out to where you think that. This knot is gonna meet up with this whip of metal right here. And that allows you to just pick the bed up, set it into that little groove right there, do the same thing on the other couch adapter, and then you can lean the whole thing back and get the top locked in place the same. And while you're holding it here, it's easy to just undo your hook, raise it up, lock that one in, and then do the same on the opposite side. So the last step after you got your bed panels locked in place is to put the mattress back on here and relax and enjoy. And that's how to turn the area van bed into a couch and how to raise it up for extra storage in the garage. Thanks for checking out our video. Make sure to check us out on social media and like and share this video. Thanks for watching.